Most of you who clicked on this video are not full-time fitness influencers or enthusiasts. You go to school, have jobs, and businesses to run. I'm sure that most, if not all of you, want to look physically appealing and have an aesthetic body. Even if having an aesthetic body is not your goal, it's important that we reach our highest potential in everything we do, and that includes our bodies. So in today's video, I'm going to break down what a really aesthetic physique is and what you can do to build one. I'll share which fitness routines you should and shouldn't focus on. Now, different people have different definitions of an aesthetic body, but here's what I learned after doing some research. An aesthetic body is lean and muscular with balanced and symmetrical proportions. It's not too bulky, definitely not bodybuilder bulky, and it's not too lanky. It has certain muscles that stand out, neck, lats, delts, upper chest, abs, and forearm muscles. Having adequate vascularity, so your veins pop. Having a V-taper body means having a good waist to back ratio, broad back and narrow waist, and a prominent V-line. At the end of the day, how you look really depends on your personal goals and what kind of physique you want. However, if you want to have an aesthetic body that everybody wants, these are some key points you should focus on. Now, before we get into the kind of exercises to do, let's explore a few key points that you should keep in mind. Keep your workouts simple. You don't need to constantly hit the gym or do complicated workouts. Just find and follow a specific exercise routine that works for you. Progressive overload is the key to seeing changes. Once an exercise becomes easy to do, add more reps or gradually increase the weight or do more controlled reps. Also, it's very important that you keep track of your progress on the weights and reps to ensure you're doing progressive overload. Cardio is a must. I know a lot of you don't like cardio, but you don't have a choice. The frequency with which you do it in a week depends on your personal goal, but ideally two to three times a week. Play sports. Instead of just lifting, play some sort of sport it will give your body more dimension and athleticism than just looking like an average bodybuilder. Try soccer, distance running, swimming, jiu-jitsu, boxing, etc. Diet. Don't stress about counting your calories. Most of us are probably not going to be competing in any physique and bodybuilding shows, so don't get crazy strict with your diet. As long as you're eating clean, avoiding sugar, eating enough protein, and drinking water, you're going to achieve your goals. Supplements. Creatine and ashwagandha. Creatine will increase muscle strength, help produce more ATP, and give you more energy. Ashwagandha will increase your endurance and boost muscle mass. Research has shown that it also helps in decreasing cortisol levels and increasing levels of testosterone in your body, which also help you get ripped. Discipline. None of these key points will work without discipline. You need to build a habit of working out four to five days a week. No matter how busy you get, take at least 45 minutes to an hour a day to work on your body and achieve your goals. Rest days. I cannot stress enough how important rest days are if you want to see positive changes in your physique. You don't need to work out the same part of your body every day. You need to rest your body so that your muscles can reset and prepare for the progressive overload. Mental health. This is something that isn't talked about enough when it comes to working out. A healthy mind and mental state is just as important as your workouts. If mentally you are at a peaceful state, you're more likely to be consistent with your gym and diet. You're more likely to know your priorities, set certain boundaries, and make decisions that align with your goals. Often, people who are stressed or feel anxious binge on junk food. Even I have done that. So when you have a more positive mindset, you have more control of your habits, eating included. When you have a positive mindset, working out gets a lot easier. You're more present with every lift and that automatically gives you better results. Now that you understand key points that will help you achieve your physique goals, I'll discuss the exercises that you should focus on that target certain muscle groups and give definition to an aesthetic body. You can do the push-pull leg split or follow calisthenics, whichever works best for you. Neck and traps. The neck and traps are one of the most important muscle groups to target. Your neck is a very visible part of your body that is constantly on display. A thick neck is a sign of dominance and masculinity. Don't go too overboard with training the neck, because remember, it's all about having balanced proportion. So incorporate neck curls, neck extensions, and shrugs into your workout routine. Shoulders. Defined, well-structured shoulders make your physique aesthetic. Before you focus on building your shoulders, fix your posture. If you slouch, your shoulders are already inverted and don't look wide. But if you have good posture, your shoulders automatically look balanced and wide. 
As for the exercise, overhead press and lateral raises are godly exercises that will literally change the game. Overhead press is a very functional exercise that targets a variety of other muscles like obliques, abs, even your upper chest gets targeted as well. So start incorporating overhead press instead of just dumbbell shoulder press. V taper, back. You need to have a wide back. Incorporate pull-ups. I used to struggle with doing pull-ups initially, but it's all about being consistent. Once you can do several pull-ups easily with just your body weight, then you can start adding weight progressively to build your back muscles and give you that tapered V look. Waist. You also need to have a narrow waist to get that V taper body. One of the exercises that really helps is the stomach vacuum. Not only will they strengthen your core, but they can also give you a look of a smaller waist. Every morning, before you have any food or drink any water, while your stomach is still empty, do four to five stomach vacuums. First, inhale through your nose and fill your lungs. Then, after three to four seconds, exhale at the same time. Pull your stomach inside in a way that you're trying to touch your belly button to your spine. Hold for 10 to 20 seconds and repeat two to three times. Upper chest. It's a no-brainer. You need a well-defined chest because it gives more dimension to the body. So try incorporating exercises like weighted push-ups and weighted dips apart from your usual exercises. Forearms. Strong forearms are hallmarks of an aesthetic physique. If you have good vascularity and are training your forearms properly, the veins will inevitably pop out. Focus on doing exercises like dumbbell reverse curls, farmer walks, and concentration curls to build your forearms. Abs. Some of you guys think you can get abs just by doing cardio and eating less, but that makes you lose stomach fat. And if you're someone who is not really doing enough weight training or having a hit or miss diet, you can lose the muscles that you've built up if you're doing too much cardio. And abs are a muscle group that need to be trained. They need progressive overload as well. As for the exercise to develop the abs, you shouldn't just focus on exercises where your back is flat on the ground. You should incorporate ab exercises that lengthen and shorten the muscles so your abs actually contract. Exercises like leg raise, cable crunch, weighted crunches, Russian twist, and planks are really effective and will give you the ab burn and the definition you need. At the end of the day, it's important that you do your own research as well to find out what will work best for you and the kind of lifestyle you're living. There's no point in starting a workout split that you can't commit to because of your schedule. Follow these tips to get an aesthetically ripped body. Let me know in the comments below which tips you can't wait to try. If you love this video, you'll love the next one even more.